everyone welcome to let's talk about jesus with favor right well if you're new here welcome and if you're returning i'm glad that you're back here thank you for coming back so today we are going to be talking about walking in the spirit i'm calling it how not to lose spiritual energy before we continue let's pray father in the name of jesus thank you for the opportunity to share your word almighty god i pray that you will teach us your word i have nothing to give anyone Holy Spirit, I pray that you will give us your word, teach us your word, feed us, O oh God. Have mercy on us, purify us, and let us look like you at the end. Thank you, Father, because your word to be praised in Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, like I said, we're talking about how to save spiritual energy. We run on energy. Energy of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, right? The Spirit's energy. We cannot do life by ourselves. This life is difficult, especially on this planet Earth, to do by yourself because this evil, this, like I always say, or like I always quote an around tree, this world is death wearing a mask. And so if you want to do life as a child of God by yourself, you will fall to the systems of this world. And the Bible in Galatians 5 verse 16 says, Now I say, NIV version says, so I say, walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. NLT says, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you, you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. So all of us have things we are dealing with in our flesh. Things that the Holy Spirit is dealing with together with us. And um, things that the Lord is showing us. You know, he keeps pruning here, pruning there. So I'm going to talk about how to how to um to to not lose spiritual energy you need your energy you know by the spirit so um well why should we save spiritual energy because we run on it like i said that's the holy spirit energy of the holy ghost um we run on that's what we run on you know we don't we can't do by ourselves right we walk by grace you know by grace we have been saved through faith so, I mean, touching this spiritual energy for grace, for strength of the Holy Ghost, you know. Um, so, if you're not full of the Spirit, you will be full of the flesh. Remember Galatians that I just read now? If you're not full of the Holy Spirit, you will live in anger. Anxiety will take over your life. Depression, you know, all the nonsense that comes with this world. All the rubbish that comes with this flesh. Um, and there's a zeal that comes when we receive the life of God. God wants us to continue in that zeal, right? God wants us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. But sometimes there's a tendency because we are humans to to lose that in the middle of work, being a parent, you know, business, everything that comes with being an adult. There's a there's a there's a tendency to lose that. So I just want to give some tips that would help you um maintain your walk with the Lord. Now, obviously, this is not in anybody's strength. This is about the strength of the Holy Spirit. And, um, yeah, this is by strength of the Holy Spirit. And check with the Holy Ghost if it works for you, if it will work for you. You know, don't just take my word for it. Ask God, what if you've seen? Is he okay? Is he right? You know. So the first one is to spend your mornings with the Lord. You know, if you read through the Gospels, many times you will see Jesus early in the morning. The Bible says a great while before dark, before um before daybreak, sorry, he would go and pray, you know. So you start your mornings with the Lord. From my own personal experience, I have learned that if I start doing other things in the morning, that's all. I will not spend as much time as I should with the Lord. And my day is just gone like that. So, first of all, start your day with God. You know, and it's not a cliche. If you grew up in church, you probably have heard that several times. They say, start your day with God, do your devotion. But this is the truth. You start your day with God, you give him a tight of your day, you know. If you start with 10 minutes, don't stay there. Continue, increase it. Maybe this year you, you do 10 minutes. Or for six months, you do 10 minutes. You increase it to 30 minutes, you know. And continue to increase it until you get to a huge amount of time that you spend with the Lord. So, start your day with the Lord. If the Lord is most important to you, what should be on your heart when you wake up first is, God, 
you know one thing you can also do is wake up in the middle of the night early in the morning spend some time in prayer study of a word meditation and then go back to sleep you know if you're not really like a, an early morning person i'm not an early morning person so i prefer the latter option of waking up <laughs> at night doing some prayer and then going back to bed but the most important thing is that when you wake up in the morning you start your day with the lord second b don't spend so much time on social media you know as children of god social media is not supposed to be our you are not supposed to be entertained by it. there's so much rubbish that is posted on social media one of the reasons i'm not on tiktok of course it's not about me but i'm just giving an example is i feel like it takes too much time you know small instagram <laughs> can take so much time talk less of um all the other social media outlets so don't spend so much time and i notice that the more um i spend so much time on social media the more i feel empty you know and that's just like energy seeping out and with that um it's even more difficult to spend so much time in prayer you know so don't spend so much time on social media if you need to post things post go post and get out um but don't spend your afternoons your nights there are other things god has given you time eh, as a currency to live on this earth god wants you to use your time wisely use it to grow use it to learn new things you need to do the work of the kingdom don't spend your time waste your life on social media don't get on trends funny trends you know on social media you are an ambassador of the lord jesus christ you are jesus's brand when people see you they see jesus if you have not been ashamed to proclaim him so spending time on social media or or things that don't matter you know seep away um spiritual energy seep away you know the energy that you would spend with the lord also pray as often as possible in philippians chapter 4 we are told to pray without season so pray 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 when you're washing dishes pray when you are making your hair pray when you are bathing pray worship play worship music pray you know what are when you are doing that what are you doing you are building your spiritual atmosphere your spiritual climate right and then you know it's easy for you to detect the enemy's lies when he comes against you in your thoughts you know it's easy for you to stand against those things so pray as much as possible jesus said we should pray so that we don't fall into temptation so we pray so that we don't fall into temptation we pray so that the lord helps us and temptation is not just sexual sin temptation of gossip for example temptation of anger you know temptation of jealousy in our hearts um temptation of sins of the hearts that other human beings cannot see so pray 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 don't just say oh i'm not in trouble what am i praying for as long as you're on this earth and you're of, you of the kingdom of god you are always you know the enemy is always targeting you right there's a target on your back so pray number four um avoid watching and listening to songs and movies that go against god's word today basically there are almost no clean movies right it's every movie has you know they just have weird sexual perversion you know um married people fornicating there's always something weird going on in movies and those things you know the holy ghost lives in you bible says you are the temple of the lord the holy spirit lives in you if you are now spending your time with the holy ghost in you you are now watching those weird things how is the lord supposed to be happy with you right how are you supposed to um have spiritual energy afterwards how um how how is the um holy spirit supposed to help you of course the bible says he will never leave us nor forsake us but you are you are letting your zeal seep away by just watching those things exposing yourself to them exposing your you know your your exposing your spirits to those things and the holy spirit is living in you so avoid those things honestly i found out that um when i spend time watching those things you know watching movies for example there was i the, I, I like sci-fi so there was a time i really struggled um to not watch um sci-fi right and it was a huge fight with, with god <laughs> and i noticed that the more i i watch those things the more i found it difficult to pray you know so my brother and my sister 
avoid those things avoid songs that are sexualized you know sexual songs um songs that don't bring glory to god why are you listening to what are you looking for there so avoid things that don't bring glory to god really also seek peace if you are fight if you're a um, fighter you know if you're always troublesome it's also not easy to save your spiritual energy. You go and get it with fasting, prayer, and then you lose it. Thing will now seep out with um, with um, you know, with your fighting or with your argument and things. Avoid. I would say, seek peace with all men and holiness, without which no man will see the Lord. So, it's also important that we seek peace. So, in summary, what have I said? In order to stand strong spiritually and ensure that you do not... Because backsliding is not something that happens in one day. It happens gradually, right? And many times you don't even know that we're backsliding. It's after you have, it has gone far. You're not be like, ah, I used to do this thing before. I used to have these encounters before because I used to do this. But now it's not happening again because you're backsliding. backsliding. I don't know if that's correct English, but <laughs> you get my drift. So, um, so that we are standing strong when the Lord comes back. So how, um, so just how do we save our spiritual energy? How do we ensure that our zeal is, is there, you know, how we maintain our zeal, I guess, maintaining spiritual zeal and ensuring that, you know, because the Holy Spirit is helping us. Yes. Right. Um, but also we've been instructed to work out our salvation with fear and trembling fear and trembling so it is a partnership between god and ourselves obviously we cannot live the christian life ourselves we cannot this is impossible um, because we live in this body but then jesus is able to help us yeah he helps us he, the bible says he does it. it's not that he takes to takes over takes it over you know and leaves our lives out for us we, he, we have to give him permission we have to walk with him so how do we maintain our zeal by his help one spend your mornings with the lord don't spend so much time on social media pray as often as possible avoid watching and listening to songs and movies that go against god's word and seek peace the bible in peter in the book of peter um talks about with all diligence right um you know it says with all diligence so this is your own part of pursuing God with all diligence. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. May we not backslide. May he strengthen our hands. May he strengthen our feet to stand. And may we stand till the end when Jesus comes. Thank you for joining me today. I hope it has blessed you. If it has, I would encourage you to like, to share, and to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.